Hello everyone, today's video is a comparison between the CZ75 SP01 and the Canic P120. This comparison is only going to be mechanical comparison, nothing to do with shooting. Uh, which by the way, those two guns shoot very very well. Originally this is my choice for the competition, but it's got some flaws I'm going to go over. And this one will be my new one. So let's start right away with the grip. Now this is a CZ grip that came with my CZ. Uh, I moved it because I wanted those Packmire grips. By the way, Packmire grips are the same as the uh, G10, except G10 grips are 50, 60, 70 bucks. Those Packmire are around uh, 30 to 40 bucks. So check them out. But the grip that came out with the CZ are really, really nice. Uh, they fit your hand, they grab your hand, but they are too thick just too thick. I wish uh, CZ for the same grip, but thinner. All right, so that's one thing. Better grip on the on the CZ. Uh, the one that came with the Canic were hard plastic, nice, but you need to swap your, uh, uh, your grip. Starting at the bottom, the magazine well is slightly flared on the CZ. We go up, nothing into the uh, mag magazine ejector. The trigger is slightly more of to a hook on the CZ, and that's more of a question of preference. I love that trigger, but until I discovered this one, I did not know what I was missing, and I prefer this one slightly. Slice stops. It is slightly longer on the Canic, but even so at the store, you have a problem reaching the CZ slice stop. That's because of the grip being thick. Once you use a thinner grip, and I think they are thinner, grip than this one, you can reach the slide stop. The safety, uh, well the same, no, not, not, not exactly the same. On the uh, Canic, you can use it at any point. So let's say you have kids around the house that are powerful enough to pull that trigger. Keep the safety on and they won't know what's going on, everything in luck until they figure out they can play with the safety. On the CZ, you cannot action the safety if the hammer is not cut or full cut. So that's the only time you can use the safety. Let's go into the slide. Nothing special there. The sights on the Canic, the original sights on the Canic are so so. The one who came with the CZR night sights. Uh, I'm going to switch them all to the CZ, uh, to the Canic, I already done it with the front sight and again that will be my nightstand gun. Now that's where I decided to go from the Canic to the CZ and this is very important for competition, not so much for home defense or planking. The tongue here. Alright, let me explain to you. When you do competition, you want to do a fast drawing. All right, you go from the holster. So what you do, your hand is usually there, and you go up and down very quickly, and you grab the gun as high as you can, tight as you can, and go shooting. Well, what happened, because that uh, tongue is just there, not very much up, very short, you raise your hand, and it will get caught and pinch your hand. So you have to recenter your hand. In the meantime, you lose time. So next time, because you don't want to do that again, you're gonna grab low, and you don't have a good grip, so you're gonna have to adjust again, waste of time. And because it's short, I get, like on my, my Glock, hammer pinch, and I hate that. With the CZ, which is up and smoother and rounder, when you go grab your gun, even if you are high, it will fall, it will slide into place. And that is day and night comparison. And that's the only reason why I will keep this CZ as my competition gun. Now, let's go talk about what's inside the gun. First, to remove the slide, it's a lot easier on the Canic. Just move the slide uh, slightly until it locks into the half cock. Push the side stop, it comes out right away. No, no need for tools. And you pull it out. On the CZ, same thing. You pull it out, but it won't come out. It's really, really, really tight, over tight. So you have to use something to 
pull the slices up out. And same thing, the slide is out. Okay, comparison on the inside, and that's where I much prefer the Kenic. Inside the gun, you have the sear block, ejector block. You have a simplicity of pulling it apart, putting it back together, cleaning it up. That is worth gold, but not enough that the uh, that I won't keep the the the, the, the Kenic. I prefer the tug of the CZ. The CZ has too many parts, and when you want to put back the uh, safety lever, it, it, it there is a little trick. You have to let me show you if I can grab a small screwdriver. There is that there is that part here, a spring and a and a little uh, part on the side. Uh, and once everything is inside, except for the block, you have to pull that with a small screwdriver backward to put in the slide and it fit right in very quickly. Anyway, um, the rest is identical on both guns. So there is no pro and cons. They are identical, except for size, because some of the parts will not fit uh, each other, but they are identical about working mechanism. Uh, so the, the real two differences between those two guns are the block and the tongue. And the block here can be a pain in the butt, but you get, you get used to it, like anything else, but this tongue makes a large difference for competition. So if it's other than competition, save the money, go with this gun, the finish is as good, the uh, different, but as good. Beautiful guns. Uh, I don't see really why this one is what, two, almost 300 bucks more. If it wasn't for the tongue, if the Kenic had a, a longer tongue, I will go with the Kenic any day. But two, two very, very, very good handguns, you will not go wrong with any one of those. And then there is a slide. Identical. Again, the parts might not be matching, but they work the same. Or oh, the Kenic comes with the metal rod as CZ. For two to three hundred bucks more, you get a plastic rod. But what I think is, because the slide is what moves back, you want uh, the lighter slide as possible with a heavy handgun. You want a lot of weight on the, on the front, but you want a, a light slide. And I think that's one of their way to lighten the slide. Some people think they want some weight up front. Yes, you do. You want weight up front, you want weight on the gun. But the slide is one area you do not want weight. And that rod, even so it seems cheap and it is cheap, will work better overall for quick shooting, will work better than the Kenic. So there are some pros and cons. It depends on the use of the gun. Again, if it's planking, if it's home defense, if it's EDC, the Kenic any day. If it's competition, the CZ will better serve you. And let's put back those two guns together. As simple to do on one and the other. So not much differences, but some that will matter if you are into competition. Well guys, until next time, see ya.